Hi, I'm Larry Montanez, and uh, welcome to Auto Mechanica. This is the first year we're running it in uh, beautiful Chicago. I'm here representing ProSpot today. I'm from PL Consultants. Some of you guys might remember me from uh, the Repair University videos that we do. Well, today I was. Uh, I'm here trying to use the uh, new SP5 uh, MIG welder, aluminum MIG welder, and I uh, got some test samples here. I was able to put on a little demonstration here for the uh, attendees that seemed to work out pretty good. Uh, we have a 2.5 millimeter uh, piece of aluminum here welded to another 2.5 piece of aluminum. This is in a T-type setting, so this is a T-weld. This is a popular weld for Mercedes-Benz. Uh, what I did was is I tacked the back side uh, to hold it in place for me. And on the front side, I used a tail in, tail out procedure. And uh, this over here is my tailing in portion, right here, where it gives me a cold start. And then I ran across the entire joint in this fashion, this way. And then I finish off over here, you end up with a, with a, uh, a crater at the end. So what we do is we try and run off the area so that the crater is off the joint area, making the joint that much stronger. And as always with aluminum, you have to clean the entire area with a stainless steel wire brush before you go and weld on the joint area front and back and then when you're done you also clean the area to make sure that the entire area is clean and free of any type of uh, foreign objects. Remember aluminum really needs to be done in a super super clean environment that's why the Argarden gas is used to clean the area and that's why you need to be in a, uh, a curtained off area so that you don't have any other impurities in the area.